Welcome to our channel where we share microlearning concepts. In today's video, we will share on flavors. In fact, flavor chemistry is a fascinating field that examines the specific chemical compounds responsible for the tastes and aromas we experience. Understanding the chemistry behind flavors helps us better comprehend the human sense of taste and opens up new opportunities to create innovative culinary experiences. By delving into the intricate relationships between chemical structures and their corresponding sensory perceptions, we can gain valuable insights. A leveraging our knowledge of flavor chemistry enables the development of novel and exciting food and beverage products. Flavor chemistry is the study of the chemical compounds that create our perception of taste and smell. It involves understanding the molecular structures and interactions of these compounds. Flavor chemistry encompasses a wide range of disciplines, including chemistry, biology, food science, and sensory analysis. Flavor chemists collaborate with other professionals, such as chefs, food scientists, and engineers, to develop and enhance flavors in food and beverages. Taste and smell are the two most important senses involved in flavor perception. Taste is responsible for the basic sensations of sweet, sour, salty, bitter, and umami. Smell contributes a vast array of flavor nuances, making it essential for a complete sensory experience. When we eat, food molecules interact with taste receptors on our tongues, sending signals to the brain. The olfactory system allows us to perceive the complex aromas of food, influencing our perception of flavor. These two senses, taste and smell, work together to create the flavor profile of every bite we take. Odorant molecules are volatile compounds that enter the nose and interact with olfactory receptors. These receptors are located in the olfactory epithelium, a specialized tissue lining the nasal cavity. The binding of odorant molecules to receptors triggers a signaling cascade that transmits information to the brain. The olfactory bulb is a structure in the brain that receives signals from the olfactory epithelium. The olfactory cortex processes odor information and integrates it with other sensory inputs to create a perception of smell. The gustatory system is responsible for our sense of taste, allowing us to perceive flavors. Taste buds on the tongue and palate contain specialized taste receptor cells that respond to different taste molecules. These taste receptor cells transmit signals through taste nerves to specific regions of the brain, where the taste information is processed and interpreted. The gustatory system allows us to experience the five basic tastes, sweetness, sourness, saltiness, bitterness, and umami. Together, these taste sensations contribute to our overall perception of flavor. Taste and smell work together to create a complex, integrated flavor experience. Our brain combines sensory input from both taste and smell to perceive the full flavor profile of what we're eating. Smell contributes significantly to our perception of flavor. This is why food can taste bland when we're congested and our sense of smell is diminished. Volatile aroma compounds released from food stimulate receptors in the nose, influencing how we perceive taste. The olfactory bulb and gustatory cortex in the brain are interconnected, allowing the integration of taste and smell information into a coherent flavor profile. Taste receptors are specialized cells within taste buds that detect dissolved molecules and ions in food. Taste buds have a complex structure with different cell types. Type 1 cells provide structural support and maintain ion balance. Type 2 cells express receptors for sweet, bitter, and umami tastes. Type 3 cells are presynaptic and release neurotransmitters when activated. The illustration shows the detailed anatomy of a taste bud and the gustatory pathway from the tongue to the brain. The five basic tastes we experience are sweet, sour, salty, bitter, and umami. Sweetness is associated with sugars and provides a pleasurable, rewarding sensation. Sourness is linked to acids and provides a fresh, tangy taste. Saltiness is caused by sodium ions and helps regulate the body's fluid balance. Bitterness is a protective mechanism that warns us of potentially harmful substances. Understanding these basic tastes can help us appreciate the flavors in the foods we eat. Volatile compounds are the key to the aromatic experience of foods and beverages. These compounds easily evaporate at room temperature and reach our olfactory receptors. 
The volatile compounds contribute greatly to the overall fragrance and perception of a product. Understanding volatile compounds is crucial for creating desirable aromas and flavors. The image shows a glass of wine with the aroma swirling, demonstrating these volatile compounds in action. The key focus of this slide is on non-volatile compounds and how they contribute to the taste of food and beverages. Non-volatile compounds are substances that don't easily evaporate at room temperature. Unlike aroma compounds, these substances interact with taste receptors on the tongue. These compounds have a lower molecular weight and are more soluble in water, allowing them to trigger specific taste sensations like sweet, sour, salty, bitter, and umami. The slide highlights how non-volatile compounds play a crucial role in the overall taste experience, separate from the role of aroma. I'll use this slide to emphasize the importance of understanding both volatile and non-volatile compounds when it comes to food and flavor science. The molecular structure of a compound is crucial in determining its flavor. A molecule's shape and size influence how it interacts with taste receptors. Specific functional groups within a molecule contribute to its flavor profile. A molecule's polarity and solubility determine how it dissolves in saliva and interacts with taste buds. Different isomers of a molecule can have distinct flavor profiles. Understanding the molecular structure of flavor compounds provides insights into how they interact with our senses of taste and smell. This knowledge enables the development of new flavor compounds and optimization of existing flavors. The slide introduces the concept of functional groups and their influence on food flavors. Hydroxyl groups, found in alcohols and sugars, can contribute to sweetness, bitterness, or sourness. Carbonyl groups, present in aldehydes and ketones, play a significant role in aroma and can impart fruity, floral, or spicy notes. Carboxylic acid groups, like those found in citric acid, impart sourness and tanginess to foods. Amine groups, present in amino acids, contribute to savory, umami, or meaty flavors. Understanding these functional groups and their flavor impacts can help us create more nuanced and delightful food experiences. Polarity is an important concept in understanding flavor and how it's released. Polar molecules like water have an uneven charge distribution, which allows them to attract and dissolve other polar compounds. This enhances the solubility and release of polar flavor compounds. Solubility is also key. Similar substances dissolve each other. Polar flavor compounds will dissolve in polar solvents like water, while nonpolar compounds will dissolve in nonpolar solvents like oil. Understanding polarity helps us extract different flavor compounds by using the right solvents. Extracting polar and nonpolar compounds contributes to the overall taste profile of a food or beverage. Enantiomers are molecules that are mirror images of each other, but have slightly different shapes. This difference in shape allows them to interact differently with taste receptors on the tongue and smell receptors in the nose. Even though enantiomers have the same chemical formula, they can have very distinct properties like taste and odor. A classic example is carvone, where one enantiomer smells like caraway seeds and the other like spearmint. This highlights how important chirality, or the spatial arrangement of atoms, is for flavor perception. Our senses of taste and smell are highly sensitive to the 3D structure of molecules. Slight differences in molecular shape can lead to dramatically different flavor experiences. Isomers are molecules with the same chemical formula, but different structural arrangements. These different arrangements can impact how the molecules interact with our taste receptors. Geometric isomers, or cis-trans isomers, have different spatial arrangements around a double bond. This can significantly affect flavor. Optical isomers, or enantiomers, are non-superimposable mirror images of each other. They can interact differently with taste receptors, leading to distinct flavor profiles. Understanding isomeric structures is key to explaining and predicting the diverse range of flavors we experience. Oxidation is a chemical reaction where a substance loses electrons, often with oxygen as the oxidizing agent. This can significantly impact the flavor of food and beverages, leading to changes in taste, aroma, and color. Oxidation can create desirable flavors, like in aged cheeses and cured meats, but it can also lead to undesirable flavors, such as rancidity in fats and oils.
The image shows the oxidation process in a cut apple, with a fresh apple contrasting with the browning caused by oxidation. Enzymatic reactions play a crucial role in shaping the flavor of foods and beverages. Hydrolysis breaks down complex molecules into simpler, more flavorful compounds. Oxidation catalyzed by enzymes can lead to the development of new flavors or the loss of existing ones. Esterification creates esters that contribute to fruity and floral aromas, often during fruit ripening and fermentation. The Maillard reaction is a chemical process that occurs when reducing sugars and amino acids interact, especially at high temperatures during cooking or baking. This reaction creates a wide range of flavor molecules, leading to the characteristic flavors and browning of foods like meat, bread, and coffee. The Maillard reaction can generate a diverse spectrum of flavor notes, including caramel, nutty, meaty, and savory, depending on the specific ingredients and cooking conditions. Understanding this reaction is important for chefs and food scientists to control and enhance the flavors of cooked foods. Caramelization is a chemical process that occurs when sugars are heated to high temperatures. This results in a complex mixture of flavor compounds with a rich, sweet, and slightly bitter profile. The process involves three key stages. Dehydration. Sugars lose water molecules. Formation of caramelins. Sugars undergo rearrangement and polymerization. Formation of caramelins. Further browning and development of bitter notes. Caramelization is commonly used in cooking and baking to enhance the flavor of desserts, sauces, and other dishes. Fermentation is a key process in food production, involving microbes like yeast, bacteria, and fungi. These microbes break down organic compounds, leading to the formation of new flavor compounds. This includes acids, esters, aldehydes, and ketones that contribute to the unique flavor profiles of fermented foods. Examples of fermented foods with distinctive flavors include sourdough bread, cheese, yogurt, and beer. The microbial activity and chemical changes during fermentation are what give these foods their signature tastes. Cinnamon is a popular spice that derives its warm, sweet, and slightly spicy flavor from a compound called cinnamaldehyde. Ginger has a pungent, warming, and slightly citrusy taste due to compounds like gingerol and shogol. Cloves have a strong, warm, and slightly bitter flavor, primarily from the volatile oil eugenol. Rosemary's pungent, earthy, and slightly bitter taste comes from its high concentration of volatile oils like cineol and camphor. These spices and herbs all contain unique flavor compounds that contribute to their distinct aromas and tastes. Fruits and vegetables contain a variety of flavor compounds that contribute to their unique tastes. Sweetness is primarily due to fructose, the main sugar in fruits, along with other sugars like glucose and sucrose. The concentration of these sugars determines the sweetness level. Acidity from organic acids like citric acid and malic acid adds tartness and balances the sweetness. The acidity level varies between different fruits and vegetables. Volatile compounds like esters and terpenes create the characteristic aromas, like banana, strawberry, and pineapple. The interaction of these aroma compounds results in a complex flavor profile. Other compounds like bitter flavonoids and pungent allicin add further complexity and depth to the overall taste. Milk is the foundation of many dairy products, containing lactose, fatty acids, and minerals that contribute to its sweet, creamy flavor. Cheese flavor develops during aging through bacterial fermentation and enzymatic reactions, which break down proteins and fats to create complex flavors. Yogurt flavor is influenced by the type of bacteria used during fermentation, resulting in a range of flavors from tangy and tart to mild and creamy. Butter is primarily composed of fat, and the processing it undergoes releases flavor compounds that contribute to its rich, buttery, and slightly sweet taste. Meats have a rich, complex flavor profile due to a variety of compounds like amino acids, peptides, and nucleotides that create savory, umami notes. Other fatty acids in meats also contribute to the overall mouthfeel and aroma. Seafood, on the other hand, has its own unique set of flavor compounds, including volatile amines and aldehydes. These seafood-specific compounds give fish and other seafood their characteristic fishy, salty, and briny flavors. 
It's important to understand these key flavor differences between meats and seafood to be able to optimize recipes and pairings. Vanilla is a classic flavor that brings sweet, floral notes to baked goods. Cinnamon adds a warm, spicy, and slightly sweet flavor profile. Chocolate provides rich, bittersweet, and indulgent flavors. The Maillard reaction and caramelization during baking create the complex, delicious taste of bread. These key flavor compounds work together to make baked goods irresistible. Salt is a key flavor enhancer that can accentuate existing flavors and make dishes taste more intense. It also helps to balance sweetness and acidity. Acids like lemon juice, vinegar, and citric acid can brighten and enhance flavors. They can cut through richness and create a more balanced taste. Sugar can balance savory flavors and create a more harmonious taste profile. It can also enhance the sweetness of naturally sweet ingredients. Spices can add depth, complexity, and heat to dishes. They can complement and enhance the flavor of the other ingredients. These four flavor modulation techniques, salt, acid, sugar, and spice, are powerful tools for developing rich, balanced, and delicious flavor profiles. Flavor analysis is the process of identifying and quantifying the chemical compounds that contribute to the flavor profile of food and beverages. This allows us to understand the complex interactions between different flavor compounds that create the sensory experience we perceive. I'll cover three key analytical methods used in flavor analysis. Gas chromatography mass spectrometry, GCMS, separates volatile compounds based on their boiling points and identifies them by their mass-to-charge ratio. High-performance liquid chromatography, HPLC, separates non-volatile compounds based on their polarity and identifies them by their retention time. Sensory evaluation involves trained panels who evaluate flavor attributes using descriptive analysis, threshold testing, and other techniques. Flavor trends are constantly evolving, driven by consumer preferences, cultural influences, and technological advancements. Emerging flavors are capturing consumer interest and shaping the industry. Functional flavors focus on health and well-being, incorporating ingredients with specific benefits like added nutrients or medicinal properties. Personalized flavor experiences are becoming more accessible thanks to advances in technology, allowing products to be tailored to individual tastes. Sustainable flavor practices prioritize environmentally conscious sourcing and production methods, appealing to eco-conscious consumers. Flavoring ingredients must comply with strict safety regulations to ensure food safety and prevent adverse health effects. International and national organizations set standards for flavoring ingredients, including purity, labeling, and acceptable usage levels. Consumers have the right to know about the flavoring ingredients used in food products, promoting transparency and informed choices. Flavor is a multifaceted experience that goes beyond just taste. It involves our senses of smell, touch, and more. The science behind flavor is fascinating and constantly advancing, revealing new insights into the complex molecular interactions that create the flavors we enjoy. This intricate 3D molecular structure visualizes the complexity of a single flavor compound. Just imagine how many of these compounds come together to create the flavors in our food and beverages. As our understanding of flavor chemistry grows, we're able to uncover new ways to enhance, manipulate, and create unique flavor profiles. The future of flavor science is an exciting frontier with endless possibilities for innovation in the food and beverage industries.